21 nothing. Skyview the big lead with 9.51 still left in this half. Skyview doing it with big plays. 37-yard touchdown to 19-yard touchdown tosses and a 52-yard touchdown or no, a 52-yard throw on one of those touchdown drives. Ball spotted on the 45 with Bonneville because of the penalty. Oh, and how big was that penalty? Yeah. That was third down that that penalty came on. That was a field goal. It was a field goal. Third down and that penalty came on. And then on the next play, Skyview scores. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge penalty. You can't have penalties like that. And Nick Carver having himself a game. He's 7 of 9, 165 yards and three touchdowns. Look at that one. That's a great catch, great focus, good pass. If Brady Martin hadn't caught that one, he would have had to walk out to his car, gone in, and drove home. <laughs> Toller in motion. Give to Shaw, and he picks up about four. Shaw with only three yards rushing on three carries. Well, Skyview knows exactly who they've got to tee off on, and it's Shaw. He's their, he's their big running back, and he's done a lot of damage this season against other teams. I don't think the Skyview defensive line appreciates that. Speaking of big, number 74 for Bonneville, big Kellen Broadnax, 6'5", 290 pounds. Wow. A few more trips to the buffet and you're playing for the Cowboys. So he's four inches taller than you, but only weighs 30 pounds less. <laughs> that is so funny. No, I'm sure. Here's Shaw again, ripping off a first down run. Seven yards that time. Well, that's right where they go, is right behind big number 74. Look at him there. Yeah, why that's wouldn't a, you? That's a man among boys right there. They go to that side, 74 cracks down and Opens up a big hole and Shaw finds it for another first down for Bonneville. Bonneville needs to get something rolling here. Trailing 21 nothing, And this thing threatening to spiral wildly out of control. Now as of right now, they're just fishtailing. Nelson's going to keep. Gets a block. Back across the field looking for Toller. And it falls short. Wait, number seven, Toller there just kind of watches the ball float. He's hoping it's going to get to him, but Nelson can't get enough on it. He's feeling the footsteps behind him. Throws that ball out there, but it's wide left. You can hear one of the coaches up here with us, you know, thinking, hey, make a little bit more effort <laughs> and go get that one. 8.25 to play in the first half. Second down and long. Here's the pitch to Shaw, he cuts it back. Well, makes Tater salad out of Taters and picks up a couple of yards. That one looking like it might be stopped for a loss. Yeah, he does just exactly what you're supposed to do on that pitch. All the defense is headed this way. All the blockers are coming this way. Cut back and use the momentum of the defense against him. See if you can get some positive yardage in a situation like that. Gets a couple, but the, the defense of Skyview does a good job containing it. Third down and eight for the Lakers. We're under eight minutes to play in the first half. 21-0 Skyview, as we've said a couple of times in this broadcast. It's a winner go home for these teams. The winner, technically, mathematically, and every other Kali, stays alive in the playoff race. Only three playoff spots for Region 5. Only one will get a home game in the first round. Nelson in trouble. Down he goes. On third and eight. A loss of six. All right, that was a good, uh, great tackle by Landon Sidaway, defensive back on that uh, corner blitz. Nelson doesn't fool anybody. And if Sidaway didn't pick him up, big number 92 was going to get him as well, Nielsen. Jordan Nielsen. We 
way it ends up being more like a nine yard, eight yard or nine yard loss for Nelson. Another big kick and a fair catch called for. On play number 15, Jaden Walsh. That was Blake McKinley, number six. Mm -hmm. I think after he caught that ball, he was thinking to himself, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's a scary deal. I, you know, I've never had the chance to return kicks for a couple of reasons. When I have bad hands and I'm really slow. <laughs> uh, I did a couple of times. <laughs> One of them on this field right here. The first punt I ever fielded was on this field right here and I remember looking up at the ball taking a peek down <laughs> seeing all these guys in powder blue coming at me with murder in their eyes got him to jump well I was the big guy in the middle who ran down and tried to bust that wedge open <laughs> and that was the most fun job in the football game I think the best thing about playing football is that the older you get the better you were uh, I wasn't very good because the only thing I was on was special teams. So you must have been terrible if you're your age and saying that you weren't yeah, very good. Yeah, I was good. really, really bad. You get to be a 60-year-old man like you are. <laughs> you're supposed to be telling people how awesome you are, <laughs> how you won the high school Heisman. I have you? become a realist. Oh. Come to grips with reality. I guess when you're staring death in the eye every day <laughs> yeah, at, no at your age. I'm going to face my maker. <laughs> you got to do it with an honest heart, huh? Five wide for Carver. Carver having a big half and having some time and they're going deep to Corbell. And this one incomplete. Corbell's a big target, isn't he? Yeah, it looks like he's got about a foot on the defender who's chasing him down number 13 with the flowing locks. What was his name again? I can't remember his name. That was Jake Cragen. Yeah, I saw him warming up. Long hair. Well, he looked like a lion's mane out there. You were going to go snip some of it and glue it to your own head. I was. And I was going to help you. <laughs> As it was, you walked by him and said, enjoy it, son. Look at your future. And pointed to that spot on your head. Anderson, the quarterback, he keeps. No game. And he's going to lose yardage. So it's going to be third down. He gets back to the line of scrimmage where they spot it. A third down and about five for the Bobcats. Two out of three on third down. Six minutes to play in the half. Throwing a little swing pass out there and just getting across for the first down is Hill. He's having himself a first half, isn't he? That's always disconcerting if you're uh, the fan of the team that's throwing a screen play on third down and long. Not when you pick it up. Yeah, after they pick it up, looks like the best play call ever. That was just kind of a little flare pattern there by the receiver. Nice run after the catch to pick up the first down. About a yard to spare. Skyview at the 48. Looking across the middle. Corbell hits intercepted. And he's got a chance to go to the house. Still on his feet is Nelson. Now he's hauled down inside the 15-yard line. Beck Nelson, the 6'1 junior, with the pick as he steps in front of Corbell. Nelson was tackled by number oh, and fin finally brought down by the guy he picked the ball off from and Corbell, he gets steps right in front of him. It's a great play. Reads the quarterback's eyes all the way. Look at Corbell, how far behind he was. He never gives up on the play. Finally makes a tackle. You'd think somebody's going to make a tackle right here. Quarterback, nope, swing and a miss. Here comes Corbell to bring him down. See if that breathes a little life into this Bonneville team as they trail 21-0. Five and a half, 534 on the clock. And in good field position. Uh -oh. That one's on the ground, and it looks like Skyview has it. They do. That's Jaron Balls with the cover. And, and really, that's uh, Jaron with the early Christmas present. He just breaks through the line, and there's the ball sitting on the ground in front of him. Yeah, they, look at this. It's just I don't know what this handoff chance. was. He never got a hold of it, got it up in the air, tried to tuck it into Shaw. Shaw doesn't even see it. 
There it is underneath Jared Wallace. His center exchange wasn't clean. It looked like he might be coming around to fake the pitch and then give a little give a little dive back inside to Shaw, and he just never had control of the football. Boy, if you're Bonneville, that uh, just sucks the life right out of you. You got a chance to put a score on the board at deep and Skyview's end of the field and turn the ball over. Carver looking at the crossing pattern, the post by Martin, and he's interfered with. Oh, uh, yeah. Defensive back there, number four for Bonneville. It's getting fried on that. That's Drake Dearden. He's a senior, not a senior play. Well, you know what? You'd rather grab him and slow him down than let him catch that one in stride and give up an 87-yard touchdown. That is true. He had a really bad angle on the receiver. 15 is always better than 87 when you're playing defense. It's the fifth penalty on the, in the game for Bonneville. I've got Skyview for none. Yeah, I don't think it, there has been any. Two washout penalties and or, uh, turnovers and five penalties against Bonneville. Really the big difference in this game. A couple of big plays for Skyview and then some really ill-advised penalties for Bonneville to keep drives alive. Carver looking underneath has Anderson. Anderson can't get away from Beck Nelson. That's a six yard gain and a flag in the backfield. And there's another roughing the passer call on Bonneville. So six yards plus 15. That's the second one of the night. If you're Bonneville, you do not want to be given Skyview free 15 yards and a 21 yard pickup total. 60 yards in penalties, 60 yards on six penalties for Bonneville. Well, they've had a pass interference. They've had uh, two personal fouls, three personal fouls now. Carver comes one to the sides and one motion. Carver comes to the sideline, and Anderson will be the quarterback. He goes to pick up the flag, then chucks it back down. What am I doing with this? <laughs> Just trying to be nice. It's always be always nice to be good to the stripes. Wiping his hands off of the towel. It's <laughs> Coach Ander. He's had a pretty good run. I think they made the, if I recall right, remember the playoffs every year that he's been the coach. Mm -hmm. This year may not have that opportunity, but. At midfield, Skyview with a first down, a three touchdown lead and looking for more. Anderson keeps. Back to the line of scrimmage, and will actually stop shy. Skyview's been able to get stuff on the edges a little bit, nothing up the middle against this Bonneville defense. Yeah, but you got to keep running that play. It's funny when I, when I watch football with my wife, she doesn't know a lot about football. She's like, why do they keep running up the middle? Well, you have to do it to keep that defense honest. The same reason you keep trying to change me. <laughs> the same reason you make the bed every day. Stop it. <laughs> We're just going to get in it again in 12 hours. I don't tie my shoes as soon as I get out of them. <laughs> Here's the give to Anderson. Anderson will bring up third down and eight. And another flag in the backfield. And this one, an illegal use of the hands on Skyview. Let's see if we can see it. The flag came from the head official. Another flag on the play. And it must have been on that guy that was coming through. Because that's right about where they threw it. The man was coming through and ended up face first. Well, there's your first.